Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do a look um, inspired by Nikki Tutorial. So we're gonna take our Pond's Dry Skin Moisturizer and we're gonna rub that all in. I have combination skin, but I love the way this moisturizer feels. So we're just gonna work that in. Next, we're gonna take our Ulta Poreless Primer and we're gonna put that all over it and work that into our skin as well. Next, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place foundation stick and I'm going to put it around my mouth and above my lips and on my chin. Um, sometimes this shows through my makeup. Um, I chose not to use color corrector. I tried to, I chose to use my foundation. I'm going to blend that in. Next, I'm going to take a beauty blender and also help it blend in to the skin after the brush because as you can see, it was still kind of heavy looking. So we're going to blend it in and that is a damp beauty blender. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer, and we're going to put that over our lid as a base. Then we are going to smooth it out. I'm going to put that all over where the eyeshadow will be. Next, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Nomad palette, and we're going to go in with this orange. And put that orange all in the crease area. Just gonna pack it in first before we start to move the product around and blend it up. Words. Next, I'm gonna go in with that yellow right above that orange color, and we're gonna use that as our transition color and also to help us with blending out the edges of the orange. And I did the same thing to the other eye. So now I'm gonna cut my crease. I am not really good at cutting my crease. I'm still a beginner, but I'm gonna do it in this video and I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my crease. And I'm taking the concealer 14 also from Juvia's Place. And we're going to go ahead and take that shimmery color and pack that on to where we cut our crease at. Next, I'm going to take my Lancome mascara and I'm also going to take my eyelash curler. We're going to curl these lashes. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Cappuccino 340. I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and put it all over my face or spread it all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just press it into the skin. Next, I'm going to take my Tarte Concealer to help highlight under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the chin, and the forehead. Next, I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and spread the concealer around under the eyes down to the apple of my cheek. I'm going to do my chin. the other eye I just want to make sure it's even evenly distributed On my forehead, I like to do just a little bit. I have a big forehead, so I really do not want that to be too highlighted. It's big enough. Next, 
Next, I'm going to take chalk dust and set my concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the Contourition Notebook from the Crayon Case. And that's going to help me contour and highlight. Next, I'm just going to contour, blending it upwards. On both sides. In my forehead. This is also a real Techniques brush. I'm going to take a smudge brush <laughs> and basically contour my nose. I don't know why I use a smudge brush, but I use it this time. And then I'm going to take a different smudge brush from Morphe and take that orange tone and we're going to put that under our eyes. Next, I'm going to take my MAC setting spray and we're going to spray that over our face. Then I'm going to go with my NYX pencil in brown and line these lips. Or NYX pencil and line these lips. I'm gonna fill in a little bit more, give that ombre effect. Next, I'm gonna take my MAC lipstick in Teddy Velvet. The highlighter, and that's also in the notebook, the Contour Edition notebook. And this is the final look. It is a Nikki Tutorials inspired her 60 versus 6. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in next time.